$5 comedy show. We're going to make history here tonight. My name is Sharp Dunaway. I'm from the Point 94.1, and I'm proud to be supporting local comedy here in Central Arkansas. I am not one of the comedians. I'm going to give you to the real host of tonight's show. Please welcome my friend and yours. You just don't know it yet. He's Michael Doc Davis. Give him a big round of applause. Thanks, sir. Wow, that was so masculine. <laughs> First thing I hear is, you know you're going to have to tag that deer. I looked down at the deer and I was like, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> game trying to get from the door to your car and your wallet is the ball. He's leaving the 50, then the 45, the 40, the 35, the ooh, popped and robbed the 20 yard line. First of all, I want to say to all the people who thought I was Chris Tucker before the show and took pictures and got autographed, don't show that to nobody. The hell is that? Red hot. Red hot what? What's in it? I don't trust you. And I must have been high, just a little bit high, because I heard the chicken talking, and the chicken was like, No! Please! Well, nobody wants to see a Chris Farley looking dude in the drive thru going, I don't really think you need another double quarter pounder with cheese to you. But what do I get as soon as I walk in the door? Dad, she pulled my hair. No, 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 he kicked me. No, 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 he started it. No, no, he started it. I'm not touching you. Some bull. France is a great place, man. I remember when I first got there, I'm driving through the city, man, looking at the shops, looking at the place, and I come to a realization, man, Branson has to be the whitest place on earth. Oh, my God. I'm Native American. And a lot of people say they're Native American. Whenever I say that, they're like, oh, me too. My grandmother had really black hair. Like, that's the only requirement, you know, for being Native American is black hair. So my son is actually triracial. He's um, black, white, and Indian. So he's a drunk, lazy thief, right? Actually, uh, on a more serious note, uh, I'm a cancer survivor. For real. I'm a cancer survivor. Uh, that was my ex-wife's zodiac sign. Yeah. Hey, no, no. Actually, I do have some really good news. <laughs> I just paid off my truck. Yeah! With my credit card. <laughs> I'm just saying. Girl, you know I love you Like the mountains love the snow like the camel loves his toe Like dill loves dough I have to say I get my point of view from my parents You say my mom is a diehard conservative Republican And my dad is a diehard liberal Democrat And they instilled both of those points of view into my head Whenever I was a kid and now that I'm an adult It's turned me into a Bible-thumping, gun-toting, tree-hugger That likes to get drunk and have sex with church women Tonight on my wife, she's gonna go in the bedroom, be a butt naked. She's gonna go, what the f are you doing? I'm just gonna go zero trans fats, baby. All the pleasure, none of the guilt. <laughs> Aqua Belva, the best a man can get. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, Aqua, you need to finish that sentence. Aqua Belva, the best a man can get is a date with his own hand if he wears that. But up. Uh, you know, I grew up kind of poor to it. Matter of fact, I grew up in a third world country. Can anybody guess which one? I'll give you a free beer if you guess which one. Monticello. Monticello? Monticello? 